Oh my god, it's coming out on my hand, it's coming out. Oh, she just went to the little on my hand. So guys, we have finally got the results of Isla's microbiology test. Now, if you're new to this channel, you don't really know what's going on, check out this video. This is the last one I did about her and you can check out the Crested Gecko playlist. That might clear a few things up. But anyway, the results are in. Can we have some dramatic music, please? So, we have patient Isla species to tortoise. <laughs> what? Why is she down as a tortoise? Anyway, anyway, back to the fecal test. So it says fecal test, no ova, larvae, or protozoa found. So this basically means um, I think it all came back clear for parasites. She doesn't have parasites, it's perfect. But she does have salmonella. Yeah, salmonella. I did a video on that and I didn't even realize my own gecko had it. Now underneath that it says Campylobacter culture not detected. And I looked this up because I'd heard this off of a advert. I think they say Campylobacter pylori or something like that. And the bacteria is apparently the most common cause of food poisoning. And I don't know if this is the same as Salmonella. They seem to be in like the same sort of category, but possibly different bacteria. I don't know. I'm not a vet. All we know is she has Salmonella. Um, so I was also reading here that Salmonella has come from a non-statutory species and I don't exactly know what this means so if you're a vet or a microbiologist out there just like to translate this for me I would greatly appreciate it. The other thing this test does is figure out which antibiotics will be most effective in getting rid of the Salmonella and the one Isla has been prescribed is Enrofloxacin, I think that's how you say it. It's also known as Batril, which is a fairly common one, I think. I've used that once before on one of my pets. Um, and I have to give her a tiny dosage of that every day for the next three weeks. So what does all of this mean? Will my other geckos catch it? Why is she chunky when she's so ill? And don't all reptiles carry Salmonella anyway? Well, that was my first thought, as I discussed like in the Salmonella video, almost all animals carry a certain level of Salmonella and it makes up part of their gut flora and it's healthy for them to have a certain level of it. Um, and if you wiped out all of that Salmonella, that could make room for very nasty bacteria. So it was very difficult to try to find out exactly what's happened in Isla, if there's a different strain of Salmonella that's also mixing with the normal healthy one that she should carry anyway it was difficult as well because most of the time when you google it all it comes up with is forums where people are just wondering whether they can catch salmonella from their pets in particular reptiles so i really didn't get anywhere in my research and also if i wanted to know exactly what strain of it is affecting her i would have to pay a further 120 pounds plus vat and yeah this Isla's cost me enough already. I need like an Isla's vet fund or something going on. So I am kind of lost at what exactly has happened in Isla. My parents, when as soon as they heard she had salmonella, their first thought was eggs. Everyone here is like, you get a gone off egg, you might get salmonella. I don't know. And they actually thought, and I'm sure some of you guys will suggest it, they thought that her reabsorbing her eggs has caused her to have this issue. But think about all the female reptiles out there who ovulate and reabsorb their eggs and nothing comes of it. So personally, I don't think that's what's happened here, but I don't know. I'm slightly lost. However, the salmonella may actually be the cause of her bloating. So as you may know, she's been on laxatives for a week or so and she hasn't gone to the loo once like she goes for the like her normal pee you know the yellow bit that comes out or the white bit but as for anything else nothing else has come out so she's not blocked up or anything so clearly all this time she hasn't been full of poop she's been full of gas beautiful so um even with those eggs being gone inside of her this the salmonella apparently can cause bloat and that's why she's so puffy as for my other geckos, as long as they don't come into contact with infected poop, then they should be fine. Of course, if they were sharing a tank together, then the other one would definitely need to be tested and probably treated for the same thing. But um, every time I hold her, if she goes on a surface or anything like that, I like to definitely disinfect it because we can't forget Salmonella is zoonotic. I could catch it from her. 
Like everyone in this house, including the animals, are at risk. So this could spread and we need to get things in control. And also that's a reason why I do slightly cringe when I watch um, like reptile room tours or when people are just going through their large collection of reptiles and amphibians and they're just picking one up and then going for another one without washing their hands in between because I always go on about it and I get it maybe I'm just a little bit you know of a square and I like to be clean and safe rather than just handling all my different pets but this is why like I really didn't know what was wrong with Isla I thought she was carrying eggs but imagine I just got her out with Lyra and they just hung out they have been out together before and I wouldn't have even known that I could potentially be passing something on to my other geckos so yeah it really sort of gives you the wake-up call but yeah I hope this whole fiasco is now coming to an end I have no clue if this has anything to do with her ovulating anything to do with the eggs maybe they just occurred at the same time something an intertwined I don't know I, th I feel like I now have more questions than answers because I just I like to find out things and understand them fully and I'm, there's still a few loose ends but if we can get her treated and she goes back to normal then I'm going to be really really happy. But anyway um yeah so she's on this treatment for antibiotics for the next three weeks she then has to be tested again so I'm hoping it's not as expensive as the first test but it probably will be so um she'll get tested again and as soon as i know any more i'll give you guys an update so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss a video and whilst we're talking about subscriptions thank you so much we have just passed 65,000 subscribers i cannot believe it it is ridiculous but anyway thank you for watching guys and goodbye